Okay, we will move on from architecture to the technical specialists and to take us through that. Um, I'm delighted to introduce Remy Alexander, who is the director of global digital practice at Philips IT, where she heads the global digital practice, practice which is responsible for building state of the art IT platforms to enable the digital transformation that is underway at Philips, a quite considerable transformation. Remy also leads the mobile app factory for enterprise and consumer apps. So in much the same way as Paul talked about the architect side of the, the uh, program, Remy's going to talk to us about the uh, um, certified technical specialists. So over to you, Remy, and a warm welcome. Thank you, Steve. I know it's late there in India now, but uh, thank you for thank you for joining us. Sure. All right, so I will be talking briefly about the Open Certified Technical Specialist, which is what we extensively use uh, within Philips IT. So a quick look uh, at the journey of Philips uh, together with Open Group. So as an organization within Philips IT, uh, we adopted Open Group uh, starting 2009. And then in 2010, we made the open uh, CTA certification a very important part of being an IT professional. So for us, it was very important that all the IT professionals are able to speak the same language and we are able to evaluate the IT professionals also um, in the same way. And that's the reason why we adopted uh, this framework. And this partnership continued to mature. So in 2014, uh, we became a platinum member of Open Group, and we also became an ECP, an accredited uh, certification partner, where we uh, do certifications of our own people uh, by following the stringent norms um, as per the Open Group conformance framework. And uh, in the coming years, we did have quite a few organizational changes, but we stayed strong and then decided that open group is indeed a focus for us. The framework is indeed a focus for us. And then we, we continue on that even today. Today, if you look at it, we have a renewed uh, focus on this. Uh, this is also because of the fact that we are moving to the uh, DevSecOps ways of working. And I'll touch upon that a little later in my slide as to where does the open group framework help us move towards the DevSecOps journey that we have? And this professional certification is rolled out in all the three hubs of Philips IT. This is in the US, um, in the Netherlands, and also in India. So how are we organized for the open CTA certification? So we have a certification program manager who's overall uh, running the program. There are domain owners. So right now we have domain owners in four areas, packaged application implementation, BA, business analysis, business intelligence, and application development. And in the coming days, uh, we think that looking at the technology trends and the transformation that we are going through, uh, more areas could probably be added so that we can uh, have open CTS professionals in additional areas too. And there are a number of uh, board members. So they are the ones who actually peer review the package that is submitted by the candidates. And these board members are uh, nominated by the domain owners from among the pool of uh, Open CTA certified professionals. And this is really a great opportunity for people uh, to develop themselves in the sense that once you're a board member, they get to look at uh, the packages of other uh, colleagues. So in a way, you can learn from them. You can enrich yourself. And also, you can impart uh, you know, some more wisdom and knowledge to your colleagues, uh, both as a board member and also as a domain owner. So the domain owner does the intake uh, of the certification package. So the domain owner more or less acts as a coach uh, to any employee who would like to get certified. And then uh, once they go through the certification and once they clear the certification, and if they get an opportunity to become a board member, of course, uh, they, they will be selected uh, by the board members and they also have an option to say uh, whether they really want to become a board member because it is also a commitment of time 
uh, because whenever there are additional certifications, then these board members need to be available. So either way, it is uh, really an opportunity uh, to mentor others and also to be mentored, which is very important for um, any professional development. So within Philips, uh, we have the competence development model, which we call the 10, 20, 70 model. So 10% is about formal learning. So these are typically the trainings that uh, one would attend. 20% is uh, learning from others and 70% is on the job learning. And this perfectly fits uh, with the um, open group framework as well. So how do we do this? Um, how do we prepare our employees uh, towards the um, open CTS certification? So we ask them to do a self-assessment and this will help them to identify what is the gap that they have uh, with respect to the framework. And these gaps are then translated into learning opportunities. So uh, typically an employee would then have a um, discussion with a, his or her manager, then go through these uh, gaps that have been found as part of the assessment. And then depending on their area of interest, they can directly contact the domain owner who can also give them um, suggestions and uh, some mentoring to prepare them uh, to move towards the open CTA certification. So they use this opportunity to um, improve themselves as a professional. And after that, once they are ready, that is when uh, they would uh, prepare the package and get ready for the uh, whole uh, certification uh, process. So the beauty of the certification process and the program is that it is not at all tied to any technology. Right? I can be a Salesforce expert. I can be an SAP expert. I can be a, a PTC Winchell expert. But then at the end of the day, it's about are you a great IT professional? That is what it means. So it's about developing anybody as a great IT professional, irrespective of the technology or the area um, in, which we, in which they work. And therefore, this is complementary to all other trainings and certifications. So when we started this program way back in 2014, so there were a lot of uh, questions coming from people saying, OK, um, I am a Salesforce expert. I have a Salesforce certification. Now, why should I pick up an open CTO certification? So it took quite a lot of you know, um, explaining to people what is really the difference and now people get it. So it is not so much about technology. It's about how you develop yourself um, as an IT professional. Am I a good business analyst? I may know Salesforce, but am I a good business analyst? That is that is what it means. And these skills are very, very crucial because of the transformation that any organization is going through. So within IT, it is not about IT being an order taker. IT is really in the forefront of leading the transformation within Philips. And for that, in order to enable the organization to perform in that way, this framework is extremely critical to develop individuals so that they are able to take up the challenge of what the organization expects from them. So as I said in my opening slide, we are in the journey towards uh, DevSecOps. On the top, you can see what we call the infinite, infinity loop related to DevSecOps. And one of the key aspects within DevSecOps is the whole concept of T-shaped professional. So you can have the breadth of skills and you can also have the depth of skills and that's extremely critical. And in a typical DevSecOps team, you also expect people to have fungible skills. So people should be able to take up more than what their core area of responsibility is. So it is all about this is also the philosophy of Agile, right? Where we talk about self-organizing teams and empower teams where people are not waiting for work to be assigned to them, but they really rise up to the occasion and then pick up activities in order to meet the team goals. To do this, it's very, very crucial that you are able to develop your skills um, in multiple areas. So I touched upon the fact about technology. Yes, you can get that through trainings, you can learn many things, you can also uh, learn about uh, technology by, uh, by doing um, certain assignments and so on. But again, where the value of the OpenCTA certification comes is in terms of the breadth. So in terms of, you know, do I have really um, business consulting skills? Am I able to uh, go and explain something to people in the right way? Am I able to uh, bring more people to understand certain things in a very simple way? 
so these are some of the areas where we we are now pushing forward as an organization and therefore we see that the open CTO certification is be becoming much more relevant um, in this current situation where we expect people to take up uh, much uh, larger responsibilities without losing the value of their uh, core skill. So there are three types of um, certifications or learnings, um, as we would call it. One is in terms of uh, technology. The second one is related to methods and process, be it DevSecOps or be it Agile or be it uh, any other kind of, or um, a, it can also be something related to uh, SAP, for example. How do you do a solution manager? So all those kind of things. But it's a professional skills uh, that in the end proves whether you are a great IT professional. And that is uh, uh, really where the open CTS creates the breadth of skills and it also creates like some of the previous speakers mentioned it creates a community. So the open CTS professionals, um, they come together as a community where they are able to share their knowledge, share their experiences and also groom people. So there have also been cases where people have used the assessment to evaluate where they are and they came back and said, OK, I am not ready to take up a certification today, but I do want to improve um, in certain areas, which is also OK. So we give them time and say, OK, you take maybe a few months to improve your skills to close the gaps and then come back later and then decide whether open uh, CTO certification makes sense for you or not. Uh, but we do see that uh, once people start working on the gaps in their personal development plan, they more often than not come back and say that, yes, now we really want to test and see uh, have I confirmed to all the requirements and am I really becoming a, a well-rounded professional? And this has um, really helped us reap many benefits um, in our programs. So today we have more than um, 100 open CTS certified employees in the organization. Uh, we also have a lot of new people joining right from um, other organizations. So we are also now asking them uh, to evaluate themselves uh, against this framework and see where they position themselves and decide on the next steps in, in terms of certification by working together with their manager. It has also enabled a lot more employees to work in critical projects. So we do have a lot of um, external resources who help us in certain projects, but by uh, developing the employees, we have been able to replace a lot of those um, external resources with our own employees. And this also has, of course, the benefit of um, um, cost reduction when it comes to doing the programs. And more importantly, we are also able to retain the knowledge in-house, so the subject matter expertise um, remains in-house, which is extremely key because we can use it later on for more and more such transformation programs uh, that are going on in the organization. And it really supports employees in their um, career development plans. So the learning journeys and also the career development plans are being built around being a T-shaped professional. So this whole framework helps um, enable that and being a board member also helps the employees to develop um, further by learning and applying um, interview techniques and coaching and uh, mentoring techniques. Thank you. That's wonderful, Remy. Thank you very much. I just uh, you just cut out at least where I was for uh, for uh, about uh, 10, 20 seconds there, but um, just before the end. But it's a it's a great overview on uh, on what this program has meant within. Uh, within Philips and to the individuals themselves. And uh, thank you for your uh, your continued support of that and participation in that program. Um, so uh, a warm uh, round of applause, please, for Remy Alexander. Thanks, Remy. Welcome.